Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is OneSkill and today I will teach you how you can create a moving magnifying glass in PowerPoint. Oh yes, you heard it right, a true moving magnifying glass in PowerPoint. You might ask me, hey OneSkill, why would I ever need a moving magnifying glass in PowerPoint? Well, let's say that you have a big nice picture that covers your whole slide and you want to draw the attention of your audience to some specific parts of that image. So in this case we have a wonderful graffiti of Albert Einstein and let's say we want to take a closer look into his eyes. We can do that with the help of the moving magnifying glass. Now let's check out his nose. Wonderful! Let's look into his eyes once again. Beautiful! Another example could be some kind of visual storytelling. Let's say that you are planning to go on a travel around the world and you can tell to your audience that the first step you did, you did a thorough research. You gathered all of the necessary information. The next step you grabbed your favorite pen, some paper and you jotted down some ideas what you will do during your travel. And of course, you did not forget to grab your favorite photo lens and your camera so that you can take lots of beautiful pictures. So as you can see that the application possibilities of the moving magnifying glass are pretty limitless and you can create some really unique experiences for your audience. And for all of you Star Wars fans, here's an example for you. You can zoom in into that white little soldier traveling somewhere on a distant planet somewhere in the universe through the sand. So let's wish him good luck. <laughs> and now let me show you how easy it is to set up a moving magnifying glass. So the first step that we have to do is of course insert a blank new fresh slide. So just choose your favorite spot let's let's make it somewhere here and just make sure that you right click on your slide go to layouts and choose magnifying glass slide layout this is a slide layout that I have created for you so that it will be very easy for you to set up this moving magnifying glass it's basically two image placeholders that you have to fill with the same picture so first Let's fill this full slide image placeholder with some kind of image. Let's choose this one. Let's send it to back so that it does not cover our magnifying glass. Now let's fill the magnifying glass with the same picture. Skadoosh. Let's move it to any starting position that we want. For example here. And as you can see PowerPoint did this image smaller and we want to actually it to be bigger than this uh, first image. So we just click on crop, we grab one of these white bubble handles and we just drag out the image. So we can resize the image to any size that we want, think this will be good enough and let's adjust the image so that it looks you know correct something like this so yeah now we have created our starting slide now we can duplicate it and on the second slide we can select our magnifying glass and let's move it over the camera now let's select crop again and let me zoom out a little bit now let's adjust the image so that we can see the magnified camera something like this beautiful so this was our starting slide and this is our second slide and now a very important thing to do on the second slide you have to set your transition to morph morph transition is actually the essence why this uh, moving magnifying glass is possible in the first place you know morph is where the magic happens okay and now let's uh, check out what we have Beautiful. As you can see, the moving magnifying glass is moving and magnifying, so everything seems to be working just fine. 
And yeah, that's it guys. <laughs> it's pretty it's pretty amazing and it's pretty simple. I will put this uh, slide layout into my one skill slide builder. If you don't know what is one skill slide builder, so it's basically a tool to help you create anything in PowerPoint and it's absolutely free. Uh, so when you will create a new slide in one skill slide builder, just uh, right click on it, go to layouts and somewhere at the bottom you will find this magnifying glass slide layout. So just fill it with your favorite picture, duplicate the slide, adjust the positioning of the magnifying glass and you will have your awesome cool magnifying glass. Uh, if you don't know where you can download this one skill slide builder from, so here is a link in my YouTube channel and of course I will put a download link in the video description. Uh, after you click on the link, you will go to my Patreon page. Here's a bunch of interesting information and here is the link to the One Skill Slide Builder. Just click on it and you will get your builder for free. And one more thing guys I want to ask you is that uh, lately I got lots of amazing ideas for what my next video could be about. So I just wrote all of these ideas into a poll. So please vote and let me know what what <laughs> what my next video should be about okay it will really help me to decide guys thank you thank you very much so let's get back to our presentation so yeah if you're new to the channel please subscribe so you don't miss my future videos and if you found this video entertaining and useful please give it a like share it with your friends and write a comment in a comment section down below because I'm always looking forward to your feedback. So thank you guys for watching once again and see you in my next video.